This is how to remove an eight horsepower and up Tecumseh flywheel. Here we go, it's installed and we're gonna show you exactly how to do this today. The tools we're gonna to need for this job are as follows. Here we have a 3 8 drive cordless impact. Then we have a 15 16 fractional socket. We have a large flathead screwdriver. This is mostly for prying on the flywheel and a ball peen hammer. Step one, we're gonna use the impact inside of this cup on the nut that sits in there. Push it all the way on, make sure it's fully engaged, and we're just gonna burp this nut off real quick. Now with the recoil adapter cup out of the way, we're gonna take the nut and we're gonna screw it on here just so that it's even with the end of the shaft. And we do that to prevent the shaft from developing a mushroom when we smack it with the hammer later. Now, looking at this engine from the top, we're gonna to take this screwdriver, we're gonna insert it here in between the two posts for the coil. And just because I don't wanna hold it with my hands, I'm gonna take our hammer, just give it a couple taps. With the screwdriver in place, preloading the whole assembly, we're just gonna take our hammer and give it a couple nice wraps right here on the end of the shaft. And just like that, flywheel came loose. Hopefully without incident, you should be able to manually screw this right off of here. If you have, and if you screwed it on too far, you probably mushroom the shaft and you can have a little bit of trouble in that department. 